Hey friends, Melinda here. Today's workout is a booty series with ankle weights. We're going to sculpt the entire backside of the body with a strong emphasis on that gluteal. I'll be wearing five pound ankle weights for this series, so 2.5 pounds for each ankle. If you want to start off with no weights at all and then gradually work yourself up to one or two pound weights, that's absolutely fine. You're still going to feel an effective workout. So let's get ready to sculpt a beautiful, tight, toned, lifted derriere. We'll start in our quadruped. Place the palms directly underneath the shoulders, knees in alignment with the hips, belly draws in, drop the left forearm down, press the right arm out to the side body, gaze is slightly forward, scoop the belly in, reach the right toe long. We have our lift and lower. So the right leg is slightly externally rotated, but the hips are still remaining square. You're stretching through the toe tips, inhale and exhale, really finding that breath work. Inhale and exhale out. Scoop the low abs in to protect out your back. So you're coming to your high arabesque and then lowering down with control. So fluidity through your motions and press down. Inhale with control and then slowly come down with control. Inhale and exhale out. Drop the shoulders down the back. Feel the glute contract at the top. Isolated contraction. Squeeze and hold and lower. We've got our pulses from here. Inhale. Exhale, little tiny high arabesque pulse. Continuously push out of your shoulders so that you're not slumping into your shoulder joints. Push up and out, inhale and exhale. From here, we cross back into our cross and then we pull into that side tap. So cross attitude, a slight openness within the hip and then you pull into your shoulder or into your tricep. Cross and then pull into that shoulder. Slight open, and then pull into that shoulder. Cross it over, exhale, press. Cross over, attitude, pull into that tricep or shoulder. It's okay if your leg is a little bit lower. Try to maintain the height wherever you're at the entire time. Inhale, exhale over. So keep that attitude shape and press. Now little tiny cross, in press, in, so tap into that tricep, tap into wherever you're at, whatever range of motion you're at today. Inhale, exhale, push the shoulders down, elongate through that spine, inhale and exhale. From here, we move into our scorpion lifts, drop the elbows down, we lift and we lower. So the knee is pointed out to the side body, drop the shoulders down, you can clasp the hands or you can release them down. Whatever feels more comfortable within your body. Feeling the glute contract and lower. Maintain the shape of the attitude and then lower down with control. So you have the resistance on the way up, but also the resistance and control on the way down. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale and exhale. We've got those attitude lifts. Scorpion lifts, high scorpion lift, press. Woo, that booty is burning now. Inhale, you've got that fire burning deep into that gluteal. Inhale and exhale. We come up from here, we move into that side kick and press. Let's flex through that foot and press. Kick it out. So the more that you flex through the foot, the more that you're gonna work through the back side of the body, the more that you're gonna target through that gluteal and through that hamstring, and you're soon gonna start to feel a deeper burn within the glute. Inhale and exhale out. Breathe, bring the legs back together, and then control the kick out to the side body. Flex with force with that heel. Out and in. Take it to the side, the leg can be slightly bent. These are killer, woo! Lift it up, inhale, exhale, pulse. Small segment here, stay with it, stay strong, and breathe. From here we rotate that toe tip, flex it, lift, and lower. We are on our final exercise. Thank goodness, lift and lower. 
lift. Now, if you're not feeling that booty, then make sure that you are putting your mind into the gluteal, really contracting it out. Lift and lower. Lift with control. Again, don't arch your back, so you don't want you to do this. Really pull the belly in. Protect out that spine. Protect out that back. Lift and lower. Exhale and press. Lift. Toe tips face out to that side. Lift and lower. Little tiny pulses here. Pulse and lift and lift and lift. So finding that high pulse, flexing firmly through those toe tips. Feel that engagement, press. In for four, three, two. Last one, find that stretch. Push those hips into those heels. Feel the stretch through the gluteals. Inhale, exhale, walk your fingertips over to the left as you feel the stretch running through the side body and sinking your hips to your right. Breathe through it. We've got the opposite side to do. Place the body into quadruped. Drop the right forearm down. Drop the right shoulder down into socket. Extend your left leg long. Pull the navel into the spine. Your gaze is slightly forward. We have the lift and lower slightly externally rotated. Lift and lower press. So stretching through those toe tips and press. Inhale and exhale, press. So there's that slight extra rotation within the leg. We're pulling into that high arabesque lift and controlling down. So that beautiful control up and then we control it down. We're not just gonna flop that leg down. Inhale and exhale, press. Lift with control and then press down. Pull the belly in. Low abs are nice and taut. Inhale and exhale. Stretch long with opposition through that toe tip. Really push it away from the body. Little tiny pulses, high arabesque pulse. Lift and pulse. Really feel that engagement through the gluteal, through the derriere, contracting at your highest point. Mind into muscle, pulse and lift. Moving into our cross attitude, Tricep or shoulder tap, cross attitude, pull into that shoulder. Again, if your leg is not this high, just work with that mobility that you have today. Eventually, we're gonna get, gain that strength, we're gonna gain the flexibility each time that we work out together. So we're gonna get strong and flexible together, press. So cross that attitude, and then maintain the integrity of the shape the entire time, hug it in. Try to control the pelvis, not too much wiggling and wobbling within your hip joints. Reach and press. Come right into those shoulder taps, pull in and press. And if the leg is lower, just tap in a little bit lower on the arm. Tap and press. Inhale and exhale out. Pull in and press. Moving on from here, we go into our scorpion list. Crossing at your ankles, we lift and lower the shape. Lift, cross at the ankles as we lower and press. Attitude shape, and then lower to act down. Inhale and exhale, press. We lift and lower, press. Drop the shoulders really far down away from the ears so you have a beautiful line in with the neck. Inhale and exhale, press. Lift and lower. In and out. Hold your high attitude from here. We pulse lift. Drop the shoulders down. Keep the external rotation of the knee facing towards the sidewall. Lift and breathe. Starting to really feel that fatigue here. Breathe it out and push. From here, moving on, we come up with that left palm. We extend to that side, pull the knees in. Flex through that foot, press. Now, I don't want you to slump into that right shoulder. Really continuously remind yourself to push up and out of that right shoulder. The more that you flex through that foot, the more that we are working the back side of the body. We're getting deeper into that gluteal. 
deeper into the hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. We're lifting, we're sculpting that beautiful, sexy body. Out and press. Pull it back in. Reach it long. Pull it back in. You'll also feel your standing or your kneeling glute as well. That's okay. That's allowed to happen. Lift and press. Second side is always harder, so you've got to stay focused. Stay focused and stay in it. Press and lift. Inhale, exhale. Moving on from here, extending your leg back, flex through it. Lift and lower press. Reach. So now you've got, again, that slight external rotation, flexed heel, lift and lower. Breathe and press, lower down with control. Now try not to arch with the back. Don't allow your mobility to take over. You still have to stay with a strong powerhouse the entire time. Lift, lower press, reach and come down. Lift to your high potential, come back down. Little tiny pulses, you're at the finale, finish strong. Stay with it with me. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Push to that final press, reach it up. Inhale for four, three, two. Last one, let's get a beautiful stretch here into that extended child's pose. Push your hips into your heels and then stretch long. Walk your fingertips over to the right. Sink your hips to your left. Deep breaths. Feel the release. Awesome booty burner, guys. If you completed this series, I want you to click that like button below and congratulate yourself on a job well done today. Feel free to leave any of your video suggestions in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. As always, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my latest fit tips and exercise videos. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I hope to sweat it out with you soon again.